guys, what's up? So, I have had a realization, a real, a real, a realization, 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 is that how you say that word? Whatever. That my pan, the palette, is failing. So, I need to take some of the palettes out of my pan, that palette, and just work with a select few because I have one, two, three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, including my Z palette. That's a lot for trying to pan out all of these eyeshadows. So I'm going to take a couple palettes out and put them in my regular drawer and then focus on a select few for trying to pan and use up. So I'm going to show you the entire collection again of my Pan That Palette and I'm going to tell you which ones I'm keeping in Pan That Palette and which ones I'm going to put back in my Alex drawers. So the first one that I'm going to be keeping is the LA Girl The Nudist. Um, all of the palettes that I'm going to be keeping in Pan That Palette have already had pans. Like you can already see the pans. And so this is one of them. See I have I've hit pan in that shade and I'm getting ready to hit pan in this shade. So I'm going to keep this one to use up and pan out because I already have shades that have pans. That makes a lot more sense to me than trying to hit pan in palettes. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Uh, one I'm going to be taking out and putting back into my drawer is the Too Faced I Want Candy palette. I have actually been using this a lot more. Not that it was in Pan the Palette, um, and I've created some really good looks with it, but I'm going to take it out and put it in my regular drawer. Um, if I do hit Pan, I think this one, this, what is this called, Sugar Plum, would be the one that I would hit Pan on first. So I'm going to take that and put it back in my Alex drawers. Same thing with the Beauty Bake, I can't talk today sorry, the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. This was in one of my BoxyCharms and I thought I would never use this palette. I'm like, I do not like the shades. It does not look good. I would never use it. And sure enough, I actually did. And I actually do enjoy it, which was just so weird because this color story was just, and it's still random to me. I just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's too cool toned. I do love this neutral. I love this shade pajamas. You can tell I've made a dent. French Doors is a gorgeous shade. And then you've got some like fresh face, cuddle cakes. Like these are, these are cute shades. Shinzi Marie, you are driving me nuts, child. She, bless her little heart. She is just crazy. And then Pumba decided he wants to claw the entire cat condo down, so. Anyway, I'm going to take this and put this back in my drawers because I actually have been using it more than I thought I would. So we'll see if taking it out of pan that palette will still make me use it. One palette I'm going to be keeping in the pan the palette is the Lorac Pro Matte Mini because I have hit shade, hit, I've hit shade on two pans. I've hit pan on two shades. This shade and then this shade. Shinzi, honey! Ignore her, if you can hear her. And then I'm getting ready to hit pan on this shade. The shade Latte, I have been trying to hit pan on forever, and I kid you not, it's so hard pressed in the pan that I just, I can't. It just, for some reason, will not let me hit pan. But I'm going to be keeping this because I do use it on a daily basis. I have nails, so I kind of have to be careful with how I work with things. This one, you guys, this Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette, I'm kind of on the fence about because I feel like I should just go ahead and keep it in the Pan That palette because I just don't reach for it and keeping it in the Pan That palette, I feel like I'm going to say that a thousand times in this video, will force me to use it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to force myself to use it. I just, I don't and I don't know why. I'm getting ready to hit pan in the cream shade and in this shimmer shade anyway. So I feel like I should just go ahead and keep it in the pan palette. 
this BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette I'm going to take out. I don't know why. I just can't seem to hit pan in these. I love the highlighters like so much. I love the highlighters. I'm sorry if it's really dark in here. I'm using natural lighting. I don't have my ring light on, so I apologize for that. I could turn that on, couldn't I? Of course, I'll do this and it'll be so bright you won't be able to. Uh, let's change that. Okay. Oh, dear lordy. The kitties. Is that better? I think that's a little better. It'd be a little brighter. But. I'm gonna take it out. I just, I wish I could use this. I don't know why I just don't use this. It's just one of those palettes I just don't reach for. And I didn't even reach for it when it was in my pan, that palette. So maybe putting it back in the drawer will make me use it. I don't know. But I use the highlighters. Like, does that count for something? Something? All right. I'm keeping the My Little Pony in the pan, that palette because I do have a pan. I have a pan. I love this turquoise shade and I am going to continue to use that. Um, also, I'm getting ready to hit pan in this kind of duochrome shade. So I'm going to keep it and also in this kind of sunbursty orange shade. So this palette I do use and I'm going to keep it in the pan the palette. The only one I probably won't if I'm going to be honest. I'm probably not going to use this black or this super deep blue but we will see. I just... I love My Little Pony, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm like a four year old. So this palette is just so amazing. All right, I'm going to keep the Nudie Patootie in the pan that palette because I have one that completely dropped out. And this is an older palette and I do need to go ahead and try to get it moved on out. And I'm getting ready to hit shade in this all Owl Natural, which is what I have on my eyes today. So I do use the Nudie Patootie. I would like to get another Nudie Patootie, but this one is really, really old and I do need to try to use it up before I go and buy another one. Cause this is one of my favorite neutral palettes, by far the best neutral palette I think there is. Other than the Jeffree Star Orgy, but that's an all matte, so. Now kitty cats, if you fall through the window, I ain't gonna get you. All right, this, oh, this palette, mm, the Lorac Mega Pro 4. Do I want to put this in pan that palette or not? What do I want to do with this? I need to, you guys. I need to keep this in the pan that palette. I'm going to hit pan in these two white shades, probably the cream, uh, the sugar cookie gray. I'm probably going to hit pan on soon. I think I should just go ahead and keep this. It's just so difficult to use this sometimes. Like, again, I struggle. But yeah, I love that shade Fairy Tale and Still Wool. Like, Fairy Tale and Still Wool are great. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this in the Panda palette. I didn't think I would. I kind of thought I would take it out, but I think I'm going to actually keep it and use it up. All right, the last two, well, this one is Blue Blood. Now, Oh my goodness. I love blue blood. I'm going to keep it in the pan that palette because I have two and I need to use up this one. But also, I need some color. A lot of the palettes, I'm going to do it like this. A lot of the palettes that I have in my pan that palette are neutrals. So I need something with a little bit of pop of color. So I think I'm going to keep this one in the pan that palette. And I have two of these boogers, so I need to use up one. This packaging is very annoying though. Not even gonna, not even gonna lie. Like, it's annoying as crap. Now, the last one isn't necessarily a palette, and I think I added this to my Pan That Palette like three months later. But this is my Z palette. I have it in a little Ulta Beauty Z palette. But these are my single pans, or single shadows, I should say. So I have. The top greens are Makeup Geek. Now, I probably won't pan those out because they're not that old and I love them. Like, I love Makeup Geek shadows and they're the only Makeup Geek shadows that I have. So, I'm probably not going to pan those unless I just use them to death. Um, these bottom are Mary Kay and they are getting a little old. I don't have a problem with the Mary Kay formula. I know a lot of people do, but I actually really enjoy them, especially the mattes. The metallics, 
mm, not so much but the mattes I like them uh, this is a Mary Kay bronzer here in the corner then I have a Ciate highlighter and a Mac eyeshadow um I know that these two are Kylie and then I believe these all are ColourPop the yellow is uh, Bubblegum Beauty. It was a single shadow. I need to use that up. And then the glitters are Dear Katie Brown. So I know I need to use up those glitters. Um, I'm probably going to hit pan in this one. I wonder if it says the shade actually on the bottom. Let me see if I can find that out. Does it? Oh, it does. Lone Star. So I need to use up that because I actually am probably getting ready to hit pan in that one if you can see I used this actually yesterday and people at work were like oh my gosh I love your eyeshadow I'm like thank you I haven't used that shade in forever and let's do these other glitters this pink one kitty these are all dear Katie Brown I just need to use these you guys like I don't I just stuck my finger in the orange one what is this one sunrise which is it's orange. It looks kind of yellowy on camera, but it's orange. And then, I know this one is Bubblegum Beauty. I know this. It's, it's powdery. And it doesn't say the shade on the, on the bottom, but it's very powdery. Like, if you look at the Z palette, you can tell that, like, all that yellow is everywhere. That's from that one sh shade. So, yeah. And then I think this one... Oh gosh, I can't get it off the thing. Y'all, I love nails, but they're a struggle. I know this is a MAC. Yes, this is MAC Honey Lust. Then what? Oh my gosh, that powder is everywhere. See, like, it's even on the... This one. The, yeah, Ciate. Doesn't say the name, but pretty sure that's a Ciate one. And then... Yeah, this is a Mary Kay bronzer. I haven't even used it. It smells like sunscreen, but it's heavy. So I need to just kind of focus, you guys, on getting some of these um, just kind of panned out, thrown away, done, used, and then filling it with some stuff that I would use a little bit more. Because, like, some of these, it's just like, why did I buy them? I would never use them. I have a really bad habit of that. So that is what's in the Z palette. Um, that is it for pan that palette. So I'm I'm taking one, two, three. I'm only taking three palettes out of the pan that palette, which would help me a little bit because oh dear lord, now I can't close the drawer. Yeah, that's gonna help me a little bit because. The ones that I have, they already have pans, majority of them, and that, that's just going to help me try to use up some product and make some room. I keep them, you guys. I'll show you. They're here on my desk in the corner. I keep them in this little, like, organizer thing, and I actually have slots available, so I have, like, one, two, three. I'll organize it a little bit later, but I have three slots available even for that. And then, of course, Blue Blood is too busy, too busy, too big to put in that organizer. This one I can actually put in there. So that it actually clears up a little bit of room on my desk. So that makes me feel a little bit better. So yeah, that is it for this video. I feel a little bit better. Even though it's only three palettes. Like, you guys are like, you only, you only took, like, three palettes out of the pan, the palette. That's a lot for me. Like, this is a lot less busy for me to choose from than having all of those palettes you know so that is it for this video i try to remind myself what i'm wearing on my face and ears because i know a lot of you guys actually ask like my jewelry and stuff like that so what i have on my eyes is the laura lee nudie patootie palette and the laura palette so I'll actually show you this video is gonna be long I have this shade right here on my crease which you can't really see and I have I have latte and corduroy from this palette on my eyes 
And then for the shimmer shade, I have the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie in that all natural shade for the shimmer. That's what I have on my eyes. Um, what else? Oh, the, oh, the lipstick is Kat Von D something or other. I don't remember. Hold on. Let me find it. Ludwig. It's this shade. Because I'm trying to pan these up too. So it is this shade. It doesn't look like it. But it is. Ugh. I hate the turning mechanism on that. Yeah. Um, what else, you guys? The earrings are um, paparazzi hoops. I bought them from Miss Burgundy's mom, Miss Leanne. That's where I got those from. Nails are Nache nails. I'll try to link everything in the description if I can remember. Um, my ring is uh, from Bomb Party. Those like Facebook Live thingies. Um, I love it. Shinzi Marie! Stop it! She just keeps crying. You can't really tell. It's kind of hard to... It is um, Cubic Zirconia and uh, Citrine. I bought it from, like I said, Facebook Live. Uh, they're called Bomb Party. One of my friends sell them and they're like little ring bombs. You stick them in the water and they fizz and all that. So I'll try to link her below because that is legit new obsession obsessed i have bought the heck out of them in the past two weeks dear lord help me but anyway guys that is it i just wanted to show you guys what i'm taking out what i'm putting back in with the pan that palette um kind of helps me clear my mind a little bit we're good so that is it you guys i will see you in the next video bye guys